Hi, namaste, welcome. Hi. <coughs> Firstly, I don't want to waste your time. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel I have something to talk about, which may, may not be relevant to many people. So if it's not relevant, I'm going to tell you right from the beginning what it's about, and you can switch off. You can skip. Don't waste your time. Search. You know, it's important for you to find what you want. I'm going to speak about um, <coughs> the center of the body, the navel. Now, the reason for this is there's a misconception behind many when they reach a specific um, experience remember we're all unique we're all different they assume and like I sometimes you will find me sometimes assuming that you that my experience is an important one but it's not so for centuries now they've been discussing the Upanishads, the Vedantas, <coughs> Buddhists, Shivas, Hindus, whatever, Christians, all been looking at a specific method, specific practice, a specific outcome. And they all follow the same route. And <coughs> I quickly want to say that when I was going through this <coughs> surreal experience, I was listening to gurus about heart, 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 mind, heart, heart, heart. And one day I had this revelation. This voice said, it's not the heart for you. It's a navel. I thought, what? And I think it's the, the Mool, the Mulahar, Mulahar Chakra, is what some people call it. And <coughs> some Buddhists look at it as the center. Your, your center because it's actually the center of the body two inches below the navel why am I talking about this because what came what came is very important for some people they may relate they may not but there is a place within you whether you call it the chakra system, or whether you call it the subtle body, or whether you call it the Holy Spirit, is irrelevant. It's what you call it. <laughs> but an understanding came from deep, deep within. When each human <coughs> being is never disconnected, the umbilical cord connects every human being. Every human being is born, body birth. Every human being is attached to another human being, mother. And then the umbilical cord is cut to give separation. And it's has to be. You can't all <laughs> be connected by the same <coughs> cord. We'd be connected to people who are buried under the ground. <laughs> <Can't move. laughs> so the cord is cut, but everything is connected. Every single human being has been connected. It's something we, we know, but we just take it for granted. Well, what came was not this. What came was that when the, the cord is connected, the life from the mother from the mother, from the mother, from the mother, from the mother, from the mother. It's continuous. The life that we call life, breath, 
was given through this umbilical cord. Now, <coughs> this physical umbilical cord was chopped. But remember, as bodies, we are simply reflections of what we truly are. We are simply reflections of the invisible us. And, and invisible is a wrong word to use. Because we are indescribable. It's indescriptive. It is totally kind of unimaginable and inexplainable. So whatever we are, we are reflecting as this human. So when we were connected to the umbilical cord as a mother, we remain connected to the umbilical cord of the mother. So our, when we speak about awareness that we are, when we speak about, <clears throat> some people may call it Brahman, I, consciousness, whatever, when they talk about the one that is not the body, the true you, you, the true you, are still connected to the umbilical cord. So awareness is a complete cycle of awareness. So there is a sensation that this umbilical cord, the invisible, is never ending. People have mistaken it for Kundalini, a snake. But this one is not travelling that way. This one is travelling that way. So again, it could be a gravitational pull from the earth. Maybe this is all a game. Maybe the brain is just playing hoaxes with us. Maybe we are just human beings, like a plant who dies. Like U.G. Krishnamurti says, we are just the pulsating, the constant beating heart of life. But a pulsating, beating heart of life. We are no special. There is no I. There is no Brahman. There is no God. There is no awareness. There is nothing but just this life. So maybe it's a gravitational pull from earth. But what is dangerous is the question which you are given from the universe. When the universe gives you an answer, do not question it. Do not attach to it and hang on to it, because it will change. Constant change, unfolding of life. The umbilical cord is growing and growing. You cannot hold on to it. Like you would if the umbilical cord was fixed to the dead body under the floor. Oh, please, can I disconnect? I can't move. <clears throat> so you do not hold on to what the universe says, but you do not ignore what the universe says. I chose to ignore and accept. I chose to accept it as true. That this umbilical cord was, as it was said, a continuous awareness or a continuous flow of life and I'm glad because as soon as I did it stopped going directly down it now goes out in no direction this way that way this way and that way everywhere down around, circling everywhere. So I have to disagree with UG, although I love him. I love him so much. He speaks a great language. I have to disagree and say, yes, I agree. We are forms of life. We are nature coming into a body and dying. I agree. 
But running parallel to this, simultaneous to this, is this true life. That is not living, not dying, not moving, not anywhere, no mind, no body, no heartbeat, no breath, no consciousness. No love, anger, and everything that goes with this human human form. This one is supreme. This one exists. And I am that. I cannot say, you are that. You have to say, I am that. You must experience that. For me, the navel is the center of everything. Is the point. This is where you began, at the end of this umbilical cord. But you have the capability to go and travel and see when you follow it. It's not a wormhole. It's not a wild goose chase. It's not just a sensation. Because sensations come and go. This sensation is permanently here. Always here always now. Since I accepted it, it cannot go. This sensation cannot fade. This umbilical cord is the cord to God. I may be billions of light years away from it, but I am still with my father. This umbilical cord is never cut. This navel is where the diamond in my being dwells. Find your diamond. If I can help, I can. I will. Just just ask And I will be there. I already am connected to you through this cord. But we must pull each other in to meet. <laughs>